drippy jaw, one thing I've been su suggestion, su suggesting to players is that you gotta learn how to breathe, right? Because if, if you've never been taught formally how to breathe, then, then what's gonna happen is if you're gonna be able to um, be more relaxed on the field. And this is important because if you can't be relaxed in high pressure situations, then you're not gonna operate effectively. So, right, so that's step one. Search Dr. Vranich, V-R-A-N-I-C-H, how to breathe, her TED talk is gonna help you. Um, it's also gonna help you improve your stamina and endurance because most players, when they take a deep breath, right, you tell anyone to take a deep breath, they'll go, <gasps> their shoulders will lift up. And this is relevant because this takes energy. Even, the, even though it's a, a little bit of energy, it's, it's too much, right? When you could just breathe, breathe through your stomach. <sighs> so being able to breathe with less energy in, from your belly instead of your shoulders is gonna help you improve um, your stamina endurance because instead of energy spent on breathing improperly, it's gonna go to breathing correctly, more efficiently, and more effectively. So that's step one. Step two is juggling. Um, juggling is the one thing that's gonna help improve your timing, rhythm, coordination, first touch. So even if you know, you're getting high pressure from, from, from defenders, um, you're gonna be able to put the ball into places where you know your first your your first touch with juggling is gonna help you become a better dribbler, a better shooter, a better passer. So it's it's the foundation for, for being a great player, right? Not all the best not all the best jugglers are the best players, but all the best players are always the best jugglers. So you wanna um, if you don't already have a juggling habit, it's one minute a day different size balls, tennis balls, basketballs, American American footballs, right? Trying to almost, you should try to assemble a bag or kind of gather up all your, all, all different size balls so that right, each size ball, each different ball is gonna help improve a, either precision or power, right? Smaller balls precision, heavier balls power. So, and that's gonna sharpen your touch. The sharper your touch, the more dangerous you're gonna be on the field. The third and fourth thing that you might want to look into, um, the third is a kick trainer, and the kick trainer is great just because you know with the pressure and how players are moving, and a, there's a timing aspect of, you know, everyone's kind of per moving on the field, and right there's kind of this this flow of the game. So what kick trainers do, it allows you to develop, develop this awareness and they just improve your balance, your timing, and your rhythm. All the things that are relevant in, in being effective and, and, and um, being aware of all the moving parts, right? So it, it's, it's basically a way to cram months of training into days or weeks. So if you don't have a kick trainer, my favorite is the SKLZ Star Kick Trainer on Amazon, it's 24 bucks. I, in my mind, it's one of the best soccer training tools Arguably, that's ever been invented personally um, because it's you could cram it's it's hyper portable You could throw in your backpack. You don't need a rebounder or a wall or a training partner You can just cram that you can cram months of training into days or weeks with the SKLZ star kick trainer So that's something I'd invest in um, And I think I'll stop, I'll stop there because I don't want to overwhelm you and both of those any of those three options if you take immediate action will help improve your ability to react under pressure and be and be calm and have a have a lot of fun so uh, hopefully this helps which helps any questions all right thanks